Soul Patrol Jesus 911. Today's a presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. So, is there only one Abrahamic religion? I know we've been taught, you know, you go to college, you go to community college, you go to university. They're always talking about the three Abrahamic religions. Father Dave Nix has just written an article and uh, he argues quite convincingly that there's only one Abrahamic faith and that's Christianity, which is Catholicism. So we'll go through his arguments and then me and Paul will have a discussion about this, but his arguments are airtight. He argues like a lawyer. He's a father. Dave Nix, uh, when he well, puts pen the paper, he, he, he does his homework. Yeah. He argues straight from scripture. And I think it's pretty clear in Scripture um, if we'll only just believe what sacred Scripture says. Yes. Yeah. So uh, he writes, remember that the Jews who reject Christ, that the Jews who reject Christ do claim in John chapter eight, verse 39, Abraham is our father. But Jesus immediately denies this assertion by saying, if you were, if you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works Abraham did. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are doing the works your father did. You are of your father, the devil, mm -hmm. and your will is to do your father's desires. Mm. That's in John chapter 8, verse 39 to 41 and verse 44. It so notice just, again, yeah, so yeah. notice again that Christ himself in John 8 says that the Jews who reject him have not Abraham as their father. So in other words, but Father Dane, this is at, at, he's arguing here, unbelieving Jews, they're not a part of the Abrahamic faith. And, That's right. Uh, uh, based on what Jesus says. That's right. But rather, they have the devil as their fathers. I mean, Amen. those are his words, not mine. And yeah. I would even I would even go further and back up Father Nix and say one an, another thing just to add that. Then I'll take. I'll let Paul jump in. In the Book of Revelation, chapter two, the glorified risen Christ. You know what he calls the unbelieving Jews in the in in, in the Book of Revelation, chapter two. He calls them the synagogue of Satan. So, what's the point that I'm making? An unbelieving Jew has disconnected himself from the Abrahamic faith, according to Jesus in John 8, 39, and according to Revelation chapter 2. They are part of the synagogue of Satan. Their father yeah. is the devil. Yeah. That's what scripture says. Yeah. If you don't like it, well, you know what? That's just too bad. Then, then you're just rejecting the clear word of God. Okay. And let me remind everybody, we, let me translate what you just said when you said that's what scripture says. That's what God says, yeah. because Jesus yeah. is God, the yeah. word of God made flesh. Yeah. And he said clearly their father was the devil. Why? Because they rejected God himself. They're looking at God. They're looking at Jesus. Uh, they're, they're only means of salvation and they are rejecting him. And guess what? Jesus says, if you reject me, you reject the father that sent me. And I've said it often on this program, Jess, I'll say it again. In the Quran, it says God's name is Allah. He was neither begotten nor has he begotten anyone. The Holy Spirit, who through the Apostle Paul to the early Christians converts from Judah, uh, uh, con uh, converts from Judaism who were tempted to return to Judaism, the following. There is indeed a setting aside of the former commandment because of the weakness and unprofitableness thereof. For the law brought nothing to perfection, but a, but a bringing in of a better hope by which we draw nigh to God. That's in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 18. This means the Old Testament, albeit an excellent foreshadowing of the New Testament, that's right, the good giving way to the better or the best, is totally annulled. The first Greek word in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 18, um, athetesis, I believe that's the pronunciation, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, is defined as nullification, abrogation, and cancellation. Notice the New Testament inherently describes the Old Testament as abrogated or canceled. Why then are so many neocon, non-trad Catholics obsessed with the old rituals found in Judaism? 
probably because they trashed their own ancient rites in favor of rites written by Protestants and Freemasons. <laughs> wow, what an indictment there, huh? <laughs> But we traditional Catholics who do <clears throat> indeed have very ancient rites are rarely tempted to go to things like a Seder meal, uh, w- by the way, which is prohibited. The Council of Florence infallibly states that, quote, the matter pertaining to the law of the Old Testament of the Mosaic law, although they were suited to the divine worship at that time, after our Lord's coming had been had been signified by them, ceased and the sacraments of the new testament began close quote later the council of trent speaks of quote the abrogation of the mosaic law close quote mm-hmm. much later pope pius the 12th who saved by the way over 860,000 jews from the holocaust wrote quote the new testament took the place of the old law which had been abolished but on the gibbet of his death jesus made void the law with its decrees, fastened the handwriting of the Old Testament to the cross. That's in his document, Mystici Corporis, paragraph 29. So now he, now Father Dave Nix is going to talk about Islam. So he clearly, he, he clearly argues from Scripture convincingly uh, that uh, Judaism is not part of the Abrahamic faith. Unbelieving yeah. Jews are not part of the Abrahamic faith. He, he couldn't... What Jews are part of the Abrahamic faith? The ones that have converted to Christ. Right. For example, so, like like Mother Mary, and for example, if you just want to just yeah. somebody a Jews converted to Christ, they're part of the Abrahamic faith. Jews that have not converted to Christ, they're people of goodwill. Say like Dennis Prager, you know, Ben Shapiro, they're people of goodwill. But uh, they're not part of the Abrahamic faith because their faith, whether they realize it or not, it's been abrogated. It's yeah. abolished. Yeah. It's uh, and, yeah. And yeah. just it, it, when you look at it in terms of the fact that let's look at the canon, the canon, uh, you know, uh, uh, of the Jews, uh, you know, they're missing books, <laughs> you know. Right. A lot of people say, well, you know, uh, you know, they, they, they decided on that canon, uh, that canon, you know, after the fact. We, we're not trying to argue that. But the bottom line is they only have, you know, partial a partial canon and they're obviously missing the entire new testament right. which is which is uh you know they're prohibited, exact it's, pro- it's they're prohibited to read it by the way yeah yeah they're which is to read it yeah which we know to be sacred and it's the word of god uh, uh it's the word i mean there's certain things that we know about god to be true that can only be found in special revelation, which is which is sacred scripture, right? And uh, like, as, let's look at the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You know, they're prohibited from reading that. They're prohibited. They're yeah. prohibited from reading that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Uh, you know, that, that He came into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Jess. Uh, how, how in the world can we unite with people like this who reject the only means for salvation? Well, get this, Paul. I've been to Israel a few a few times, and mm-hmm. every time I've gone there, I you know I have I have long conversations with the with the tour guides. They're usually Israelis graduates from Hebrew University in Jerusalem. You know they they're well versed in Old Testament and and, yes. uh, and 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 history of the Jews. And uh, every single time I've been there, they've told me, uh, I said, so what do you guys think about Jesus Christ? And the tour guides have told me, he goes, to be honest with you, in, in this country, the only two names that are forbidden to the Jews, an Orthodox or a conservative Jew, the only two names that are forbidden for us to mention and speak of are Hitler and Jesus. Wow. This is right now in Israel. They'll wow. tell you right now. These are the two names we do not speak. We respect you guys. I know you Catholics have been here for 2,000 years. He started your, they'll tell you, oh, the Jewish tour guys that are historians, graduates from Hebrew University, they'll, I've asked them, which Christian church did, because the, they'll call them the, they won't say Jesus. They'll, they'll say the Nazarene. Which Christian church did the Nazarene start? They go, oh, don't you know American? It's simple. He started the Catholic church. You guys have been here since the time of the apostles. Uh, he says that's the only he, that's the only reason you guys we put up with you guys is because you guys you guys are part of the landscape we can't get rid of yeah. you guys have, yeah. you guys have been here since since the very beginning they don't yeah, they, they don't care for us trust me 
but but they say yeah you guys have been here for 2000 years you know so we you know yeah. we yeah 